I signed on today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how good the comedy's going. Fucking laugh at me. <laughs> now I had to sign on. Bad, bad experience, mate. I hated it. Because I've been out of work for so long, right? I could tell this woman was suspicious of me. You know what I mean? I was like, listen, Jeanette, I haven't been <laughs> proper suspicious of me. I was like, Jeanette, I haven't been selling drugs or nothing like that. And she was like, well, that's good, Mr. Keegan, because if that was the case, you'd be asked to leave. Which, which, which wound me up to death, because at least 80% of the people in there are on drugs. <laughs> I know I was. <laughs> I need a job, don't I? I need to just grow up all together. Honestly, God, I mean, my mate Kirk has a baby to the day. Recently, has a little girl. And he's, I, I, no, to be fair, it's not a fucking art and matter. I weren't happy. I mean, I mean, I, listen, I've, I've grew up with cake all my life. He said to me, Dan, and he was like, Tom, got some, uh, got some news, me and my girl are having a baby. I was like, oh my God, cake, that's awful. That's terrible, lads. <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> like, awful, awful. We got in this mad argument. He's like, why would you never have kids and all that? I was like, well, there's too many of us for the start. Went into this big, crazy argument. I was like, cake, you might as well get a dog. You might as well, I love you unconditionally. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I said, listen, I said, Kay, you get a drug, love it unconditionally, and if it dies at a young age, no one will think less of you. <laughs> Just clapping at that, you're wrong. <laughs> I do, I need to grow up though. I, uh, like, I don't even like going out anymore. I never, I never the last time we were going out, it was in Concert Square somewhere. And I went to go in and bounce around, whoa, 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 where are you going? I went, I went, I'm having a bevy. So like, nah, lad, no, not with all them logos on. I was like, you've just let in a fellas test of the Avengers. Like, what's the... <laughs> what's the proper time? I'm not allowed in and you go, boss, but Captain America's all right with his shield, is he? <laughs> I need to. I, was all, I mean, obviously, with kids, I, I don't like kids, but I miss being a kid. Like, I mean, when I was a kid... When I was a kid, I didn't know who the fucking Prime Minister was or not. <laughs> like, can you, like, rap battle or something or, like, fucking... <laughs> I'm not going near them, it fucking stinks over there, mate. <laughs> I'm only messing. She's up proper offences out there. I hate kids, though. You know when you're a kid, right? You're not, you're not asked who the Prime Minister is or, like, the, or, like, the fucking... Uh, the MP. I can't turn on the telly now without seeing Theresa May. Theresa May, who looks like a fucking... She looks like big beards with alopecia. <laughs> and, like, and then, like, Donald Trump's just, like, something off Nickelodeon. But everyone, everyone says scared of Donald Trump, though. I mean, I don't... I'm not that scared. He will get shot eventually. If you look at, he will. It will happen. If you go back in America's history, America had a brilliant to shooting people head, mate. Don't worry about it. Abraham Lincoln, fucking he got it. JFK, he got it. Martin Luther King, he got it. And there's, like, there's finally a James Bond villain running the country. The nutters have had a gap here. <laughs> Frankly disappointed in America's crazy people. <laughs> I like festivals, I, all my mates. I'm sure I've seen these in a few festivals as well. Like to. <laughs> I don't like them. I mean, it's like once in my life, never again. All my mates think they're like fucking Jimi Hendrix. Because they went to, what, because you split three pills between 12 people? Calm down, lads. <laughs> like, chill. I'd like, like, I'd like to see if you think you're a little Jim Morrison. Go to like Woodstock in the 70s, watch your face melt with a bottle of acid laced water. Let's see, what, let's, see how many likes it, let's see how many likes you get on Instagram when you're pulling your teeth out. It's not happening, mate. And when you were a kid, you ever used to watch Bernard? Bernard's Watch? Yeah. You just reminded me of the girl off Bernard's. <laughs> One of them Bernard's Watch, right? Has anyone never seen Bernard's Watch? It's on CITV every day. Most ungrateful fucking 12 year olds you've ever met in your life, right? <laughs> this kid gets on his 12th birthday, gets a magic pocket watch that can stop time. Bearing in mind, you're 12 years of age, your hormones are all over the fucking place, right? <laughs> Not a bank robbed, not a, This kid's going to fucking bake sales and swapping muffins round. <laughs> like, Ben is actually he's got some tits, like, what is.
I only I only really watch the telly when celebrities die. That's like the only. I mean, I remember last year the loads of celebrities were going. Snape went. I was like, shit, Snape's gone, man. And then Prince went. I was like, fucking purple rain, man. And then Robin Williams went, and that that was me done. I felt like that really upset me for a bit. But then like two days later, you're like, fuck, at least your man's gonna be on all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching. I was watching this morning. This morning, cause cause I've got no job or models. I'm like, <laughs> and it's this woman on it from Essex, and she was like, she, she wanted some beds banned because she contracted skin cancer. But she she was surprised. Like this woman from Essex, she was like, well, I, I went on a summer day every day for six years and got fucking skin cancer. I'm like, yeah, Helen, that's what's gonna happen when you cook yourself like a piece of bacon. I'm like fucking, I'm gonna ruin it for everyone else because you fucking cooked yourself. Don't know. It's always because it always takes one person to ruin it for everyone. Like I always, I always think about the prohibition in America. What happens in the prohibition was basically people were getting that fucking bevies. The government went right, no more ale for anyone, right? And then the Americans were like, "Oh, is that right? We're just gonna go fucking metal with Tommy guns then." <laughs> Which you can't blame them because if someone told me I couldn't bevy anymore, I'd probably shoot a few people up as well. <laughs> I, uh, I want to add a little story. I, uh, I've only ever been in trouble. What, uh, with the police once in my life, a little bit of weed on me, and uh, you know, it doesn't hurt anyone, but, but apparently I was too young for so the fella to take me on, and I'll never forget it, I'm sitting in the back of the car with this fella, and I'm like, mate, just let me out of this corner, my ma's going to fucking do me in. <laughs> no, no, you're coming with me, son. I was like, but mate, at the end of the day, who, who am I hitting? Who am I hitting? And the fella turned around proper dramatically, and he was like, only yourself, kid. <laughs> And I was like, mate, that sounds like to not press charges, please. 